Well, now we've come to another one, and uh, one of the one of the nine in the fleet of uh, Mini Maxes today. And uh, we're standing right by the Hearth F33 engine that you use on many of your models, correct? Three different models that we use it on the 1100, which is what this model is, which is the original design, and the 1030R, and also the 1030F and the 1700 HIMAX. And what do those numbers mean? Are they relevant in some way, Dave? They're relative, only in the model design uh, that we categorize them uh, to let us know what what model that they're It's just a reference number. It's a reference. Of. Okay, it's not a weight thing or something else. Not a weight thing. Okay. Um, so I'm looking down here and I can see uh, the starter motor. Uh, I can see the battery is what I'm looking at. The, and uh, the So this is an electric here. start. This has electric start and a pull start. So you can actually start this one both ways. Alright, so you land in a field and you somehow let your battery go dead on you. You got a way to get it going anyway and fly back home. Right. That's and pretty cool to have both on and the, the real particular item on this that is unique to Team Minimax, Team Minimax has always been a tail dragger aircraft. Now, if you and look I see down this below, one is not. We so. converted this one over to a Trimax because we had customers that said, I'm scared of a tail dragger. I'm worried about ground loop. So we wanted to take that scaredness off away from them. So. Sure. Well, you know, I understand because so many people now in the last couple of generations of U.S. society have learned how to fly in a 150, 172, whatever it is they learn how to fly in, or any number of uh, ultralights or light sport, they're all nose wheel, which is great. We understand why nose wheels work well for a new pilot, but tail draggers are pretty sweet, and everybody oh, ought to try it. I love a tail dragger. But, but you know, and I can I, see the smile I, on your I, face I, I revealing that. I accommodate everybody, so this was one of the ways of... Great, because this is this is, an air, this is an airplane that loves a grass field. Yeah, it loves a grass field. So, uh, on, on the whole, whole line of them, uh, where where would this one fit in? And what I'm really getting at here is on the... You, we showed we looked at the Aeromax, it's really short, 250 hour build time. We looked at the... Uh, already forgot the name of the larger one, the big boy airplane. Supermax. Supermax. Got new names I gotta learn here. And that one's uh, 500 hours or so. This one's 200 to 400 hours. And that's the way most of our kids are dependent on your build uh, qualifications. Um, Somebody has done one, one once before, probably knock it out in a couple hundred hours? And usually in a couple hundred hours. Do you um, do any kind of quick build kit for people? We offer several quick build options. Okay. Options. How does that work, Dave? What we do is we took the laser cut gussets from the Aeromax and offer that as an option to add that to your kit and for a very low cost and be able to be able to build your ribs a lot faster by not having to take the time to cut all them gussets out. Um, that's one way and then we also offer pre-built ribs so oh, okay. that we build the ribs for you at the factory and now you, well, you have to do assemble your spars and add your compression anti-drag and your uh, D-tubes and your ailerons and now your wings are done usually in a couple weeks. So how much does a quick build shave off the top of the build time? Approximately. Anywhere, anywhere from 100 to 150 hours. Oh goodness, so that really cuts it down a lot then. You can get the, you can get a quick build, uh, any one of the Minimax line that you do that with, uh, pretty quick, like a summer or something. I've been able to build a Minimax in six months. Six months, okay. Excellent. And test line. You, using that stuff. And test line. So paint. Avionics, whatever, and engine, the whole bit. Yes. All right, very cool. Very cool indeed. How many Mini Maxes are flying worldwide? We're well over 4,000. 4,000. You know, so that makes you one of the more successful kit producers, you and the folks that preceded you with this brand, uh, in the whole space. I mean, there's not too many that have ever gotten to that number. And, a handful. And, and a lot of people that have got into the Mini Max or learned about the Mini Max and have gone up into general aviation, usually come back to the <laughs> I, I'm guilty of that. You're, you're one of them, huh? <laughs> I did it myself. <laughs> well, I, I'm not surprised, because you keep popping up with that nice smile, and uh, this is kind of an airplane that inspires that sort of thing. I and know. it's fun to fly. Great. They can buy the kit, or they, we even have our kits broke down into sub-kits to help the cost along the way. Um, so you can buy a, an appendage kit, a fuselage kit, a rib kit, a wing kit, uh, so that it's not so much all at once. Make sure you make your way to an air show and come and find Team Minimax and talk to Dave and 
see what you can do here. So. Or they can check us out on the web at teamminimax.com. Teamminimax.com. That's great. Lots more information. I have uh, plenty of pilot reports about the teams uh, of an earlier era, but they're essentially the same aircraft, I'm assuming. Find a lot of that on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com.